In this video, we're going to have some examples for using uh, triangle inequalities. So example one, and you should pause after I show these pictures, pause the video, work it out on your own, and then check to see if you're doing the problem correctly. So in example one, write the angles in order smallest to largest, and we have the triangle FGH, and we have the side measures of 17.2, 19.6, and 20.4. So which angle is the smallest? Well, angle H is the smallest because it's opposite side, 17.2. And the second one, the middle one, is opposite 19.6, which is angle F. And therefore, the last one is angle G, which is opposite the longest side, 20.4. Example two, again, draw this picture, and the question is, write the sides in order, shortest to longest. So you should pause and try to work this out. To do this problem, first, we need to know the measure of all three angles. Do not try to do these problems until you have all three angles figured out. So we take the 180 and subtract the two angles that we know. We get 35, so put the 35 in there. Now that you've got all three angles in the triangle, we're going to write the sides in order shortest to longest. Since 35 is the smallest angle, the side opposite PQ is therefore the smallest. And so I'm going to write this as an inequality. The length of PQ is less than, 62 is the one in the middle, so the side QR. So PQ is less than the measure of QR, which is less than the measure of the longest side, which is opposite the biggest angle. So it's less than PR. And so that's your answer. And that would be answering it as an inequality, which I like that method of showing the inequality. You could do the same thing with your angles. You could have done the measure of angle H is left, less than the measure of angle F, which is less than the measure of angle G. And now let's look at example three. And in example three, um, it's going to tell whether the triangles can be um, that the triangles can be made from the sides with given lengths. So, the first one you've got three lengths: seven, ten, and nineteen. The second one is two point three, three point one, and four point six. Can you make a triangle? And number C is you have one side that is n plus six. Another, or not a side, but a, a, a length that's an n plus 6, a second length that's n squared minus 1, and a third length that is 3n. Now that's when n equals 4. So could you make a triangle with those three lengths? So pause the video and try to work these three problems out. For the first one, the two shortest sides are 7 and 10. 7 plus 10 is not greater than 19, and that triangle inequality theorem said they must be greater than the third side. Since they're not greater than the third side, no, you can't make a triangle. In part B, 2.3 and 3.1 are the shortest sides, and you add that together and you get 5.4, and 5.4 is greater than 4.6, so yes, you can make a triangle. In part C, step one is you have to pull, uh, plug in the four for the n. So you get four plus six, then you're going to have four squared minus one, and three times four, which is going to give you the three lengths of 10, 15, and 12. 10 and 12 being the shortest, adding those together, they are greater than 15. So yes, it makes a triangle. And now we're going to do our last example, example four. And in example four, it says the length of two sides of a triangle are 8 inches and 13 inches. Find the range of possible lengths for the third side. This says range, meaning I want to know all the possibilities for that third side. How small can it be and how large can it be? Well, it's two cases. That third side could be the shortest of the three sides in a triangle, or that third side could be the longest in uh, of the three sides in the triangle. So I can even draw a little picture to kind of kind of look at this shortest side first. And this would be uh, perhaps a picture of one where the third side, the unknown side, is shorter than either 8 or 13 inches, which would mean with triangle inequality theorem that 8 plus x must be greater than 13. We can solve for x by subtracting 8 and get that x is greater than 5, which means in this case the third side must be more than 5 inches. So when the third side is the shortest side, it's got to be more than 5 inches. But what about when that third side is the longest side? 
Well, here's a picture where representing it as if um, that x is more than 8 and it's also more than 13. That would make 8 and 13 the, the shortest sides. So 8 plus 13 has to be greater than x. Adding those together, you get 21 is greater than x. But you should read it with the variable first, so that would be x is less than 21, x standing for the length of the side. So the third side must be less than 21 inches. Well, in the first case, when it's the shortest side, it's got to be more than 5. In the second case, when it's the longest side, it's got to be less than 21. Well, that implies that the third side is somewhere between 5 and 21 inches long. That can be written as an inequality, and we can see that as an inequality. 5 is less than x is less than 21, and this is a way of writing it as an inequality, and it's a, a really nice way to write it. So this is how you could write the range of the third side. And those are your four examples.